Hey everyone, it's Kelly, and welcome back to another episode of Dying the Dead. In this video, we're going to be rehydrating our specimens, so we're going to be putting them through a series of baths, which is going to take about four days. The cartilage stain that the bird was in has actually dehydrated the tissues and it has lowered the pH. So the reason for the rehydration step is so we can prepare the tissues for the trips and digestion and so we can raise the pH to something more neutral or basic. So let's start going over some of the things that we need. First, you're going to need your specimens and your cartilage stain. Four jars. 95% ethanol, distilled water, your tweezers, lab goggles, lab gloves, and your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Amongst your four jars, I have two jars with similar lids with the same shaped jar and two that have different lids and kind of different jars. The reason for this is because the first two solutions are going to be the exact same. It's when we get to the third and fourth solutions is when they start to change. Your specimens will need to be left in each of these solutions for a minimum of two hours and anywhere up to one day. I am going to be placing my specimen or this bird into each of the solutions for about a day each. All right, so let's get started. So we have our four jars here. In the first solution, we are just gonna be using a 95% ethanol. In the second, we are also just going to be using 95% ethanol. In the third solution, we are going to be preparing a 70% ethanol solution. And in the fourth, we are just going to be using distilled water. So let's get started on preparing our solutions. In the first one, we have 95% ethanol. In the second, we also have 95% ethanol. In the third, we have a 70% ethanol mixture. And in the last and fourth one, we have just distilled water. All right, so now that we've finished preparing our solutions in our four jars, you're gonna to need to grab your labels and a pen so we can label our jars bath one, bath two, bath three, bath four, and we can also label what's inside of them. We won't date them right now, as you're gonna to wanna to date them when you put your specimen into the solution. solutions prepared for the rehydration step, I'm just going to be taking my specimen from the Alcyon Blue or the cartilage stain and placing it into solution number one which contains 95% ethanol. So here's my specimen in the Alcyon Blue or the cartilage stain solution. I'm going to be pulling him out and showing you guys kind of what he looks like now. And then we are going to be placing this bird into solution number one which contains 95% ethanol and we're going to be leaving him in there for one day. solution which consists of 95% ethanol. It is going to be sitting there for about a day and then I'm going to be transferring it to the second solution which also consists of 95% ethanol. I had to add a little bit more than 100 milliliters to ensure that I covered the entire bird. Day two. 
This is day two, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be transferring my bird from bath number one into bath number two, which contains 95% ethanol, and it will stay in there for the next 24 hours. Day three. Day three, and I'm just gonna be transferring my bird, which was in bath number two, into bath number three, which contains 70% ethanol, and it will be staying in there for 24 hours. Day four. Day four, I'm just gonna be transferring my bird from bath number three into bath number four, which contains just distilled water. This is gonna help remove some of the excess ethyl alcohol from the bird. So here's my bird in the distilled water. It's a little bit floaty as you guys can see right here. sure as to why in the rehydration step when the specimens get to the distilled water they end up floating so that's kind of a little kooky. I will try to probably put something to weigh it down just to make sure it's fully submerged but um, I am going to be leaving the bird in the distilled water for 24 hours and then I will be moving on to the next video which will be the trypsin digestion. So if you guys have any questions about what I've been doing please leave it down below and I will get back to you guys. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you like what you're seeing. Also, don't forget to read the description down below and check out the links and things down there as there may have been things that I couldn't put in the video or there's experiences that I didn't really talk about, so yeah, be sure to check that out. All right, so join me next time where I will be doing the trips and digestion for my bird. See you guys next time. Bye.